Mr. Math here, thanks for watching my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember to click the bell icon to be notified of updates. Hello again viewers, welcome back to Let's Play Torn of the Golden Country. We are on our way to the inn to see about going to Laura's knighting ceremony. And hmm, there's a side quest right here. Well, let's talk to Cornelian, see what he wants. Hey you! Yeah, you. I hear you've been busy, right? People have been talking. You helped my kid brother the other day, too. As a citizen of this great town, I salute you. Thanks. So, um, on that note, I've got a bit of a request myself. Would that be alright? It's been on my mind lately. You see, it started appearing in those woods there, and don't ask me what it is or anything stupid like that, okay? You don't believe me, do you? I didn't either, until I saw it with my own two eyes. Could you, uh, take a look? I'm in charge of this spot here, so I couldn't very well leave my post. Can I count on you? If you could just check the woods entrance, you'll be able to pick up some hints. I'm sure someone was there. And if you think there's we something never turn a blind eye to people in need. If you think there's something untoward going on, inform your duty officer. That's the whole point of having guards out here. Well, we'll see to that later. For now, I just want to get this out of the way. Now, spirited fishmonger Chica has something. Uh, uh, well, where is it? Ah, here it is. The Speffin in Proprietor Fred. That mask. You don't need it anymore. Yeah. Since you're a knight of Torna now, there's no danger of getting in trouble for resonating with a stolen core. What should we do with that? Nothing, I think. I think I'll keep wearing it. You went to all the trouble of making it for me. Yeah. I mean... Huh? Someday I'll die, and just like that you'll return to your crystal. Even if you forget everybody, at least you might be able to keep the mask that I made you. Laura. But I imagine that day's still a long way off, so don't worry. If I were a praying man, I'd pray this journal finds its way to you. Trusting that it will, I will use these last words to pass down a means of carving the bond between myself and my partner into this flesh. This is how it is done. So, I'm officially a torn and driver now. Okay, let's make some memories. <sighs> Great. 
Greek tragedy. Adam's star is rising. It seems that the people love him. Huh. And naught but the fruit of the king's whimsy and an obscure woman. Ah. Oh. Yet if only he were not the driver of the Aegis. You'd each have your just share of dignity. Huh. So he did attempt to resonate with Mithra's core crystal. Or is it really true that... Certainly, I did give life to Malos, but when he acts, it's divine will. The destruction of the world is the will of the divine. Indeed it is. Malos is the instrument of destruction. Making the Architect's will imminent takes many able hands. Hmm. Hmm. That fits in with what we learn about him 500 years hence. It may be this is exactly what they wanted. Become titans. Have a longer life with humans. <laughs> huh? Oh, nothing. I was just remembering the previous time you said that. I did? My reply was, how about you? And what do you think you said? Uh. I don't wish for forever. All I want is my life with her. That's plenty. Ah. Spoken like a true blade. No one can begrudge you that. I wonder how it was for you. Well, honestly, I suppose I may well have been just like you, Jin. Still. Still? Being like this isn't so bad, either. After some years, or centuries, you find yourself ready for new relationships. I came to realize that. New relationships? There's an old song, technically rock and roll, life goes on even after the thrill of living is gone. Seems to touch on the same kind of thing as they're talking about here. Anyway, <clears throat> Jin, there you are. Where have you been? The capital's outskirts. I wanted to pick some ingredients. Oh, you are joking. This is the capital we're in. It's packed to bursting with high-class nosh around here. Why are you still going around foraging in the dirt? On the other hand, Jin's cooking really is unparalleled, and there is a certain appeal in making food yourself. Yeah, okay, that's... that's spot on, actually. So, I spoke briefly with Caserta. Oh, really? What did he say? It was a difficult subject for me to wrap my head around. New relationships? No, I'm more than happy with what I have right now. 
All right, try time to drop some plants. To get the seal back, we'll have to make our way to the Torn and Core. Question is, what then? Malos implied that we still have some time. Mithra seems to believe we can take him at his word. You can, yeah. He's enjoying this, is he? Damn him. I know how you feel, Adam, but perhaps we should be thankful. His own hubris has allowed us this chance. We'll use the time we've got to prepare for the battle ahead. Right. We need to be stronger still, or we'll never make it through this. The citizens are in fear of what may befall them. I believe you are best equipped to give them the strength they need, Laura. What, me? Yes, you are properly a torn and knight now. A knight is not called upon solely for their skill in combat. It's also their duty to instill courage and hope. You must hold your head high and serve the needs of your nation. The needs of my nation. Feels like the whole world's resting on your shoulders, doesn't it? It's not, though. Remember, you're not the only one fighting to protect this country. We're a strange gaggle of misfits, I admit, but we'll carry that burden with you. Torna lives and dies by its people. We fight for it together, every one of us. Right. Give me a moment. I know there's not much time, but I'll... I'll see what I can do. Okay. Now what? That's the side quest. What's the main quest say? Okay, there isn't a main quest at the moment. So yeah, I've hit the wall. I need to do more side quests and get the community built up. Okay then. Let's see. Let's go talk to the fishmonger here, see what her business is. Look, no matter how many times you bring it up, I still don't want to hear it. We don't know when the next attack might come, do we? There's no place for levity at a time like this. No, Sarah, you don't understand. That's exactly why. Nobody knows what's coming. We were destined to be together, you and I. No, wait, don't go. At least let me ask you this. Why are you so sad all the time? Sad? Me? Yes. It's as if you're always trying to bottle up all your emotions. Look, I told you, it's because... No, you know what? I'm done. Why bother explaining myself to you when you don't respect me enough to listen? Oh, Sarah, I love your angry face, too. It's so adorably contorted. Unbelievable. Okay, fine. If you want to get me so much, bring me a rainbow blossom as proof of your feelings. You want flowers? Oh, what a wonderful idea. Why didn't I think of that? But wait a minute, isn't that particular genus extinct? Well, if you're going to let that stop you, then we got nothing left to talk about. No. No, this isn't over. In fact, it's just beginning. Sarah, the love I feel for you will never die. Just like I hope that extinct flower didn't, and I'll prove it to you. Okay. I was standing over there, and now I'm standing over here. He'll be loitering around somewhere, no doubt about it. Ah, sorry. Are you a customer? I'm afraid you'll have to wait a bit to, for the shop to reopen. My husband's gone to AWOL. Well, he went out to get fish. Then the Aegis attacked, and all the fish around here went belly up, you remember? Well, around that time, he said, I'll catch the fish myself, and went off by himself somewhere. And he's not been back since. The fish are back at the ac aquaculture shop now, so there's no reason not to reopen the shop, except no husband. And there are lots of monsters outside, so I can't exactly abandon the shop and go wandering. I'm ashamed to burden a customer with something like this, but I need someone to find my husband and tell him to get back here to the capital. Can you help me? My husband said he wanted to go up to Cooley Lake to land a big catch someday, so you might start up there. Hope you can find him for me. Thanks. Cooley Lake? Isn't that in Gorma? We cannot turn them away.
and now the inn owner wants something. This is ancestral torn in land. It's normal. F it's normal for it to be attacked. I don't think so. Uh, but maybe that's the problem. This enemy isn't normal, so that's why this has happened. If you close your eyes to the fires of war and rebellion happening on the opposite shore, this is what happens. I'll talk to Morumo. We'll have to call the Chamber's Emergency Committee. You can't let it happen twice, no siree. Um. Okay, what's the quest? Uh. Okay, do I have to stay again? not going to level up, but how far could I go? Hmm? Pretty far. Twelve levels. Only eleven for Hugo. Okay, now that I've stayed, is he going to give me the quest? There you are. I've been looking for you everywhere. Oh, you're that traveling performer's friend, aren't you? Hmm, is something wrong? I'm sorry to approach uninvited, but this is urgent. I just couldn't wait. Don't worry about it. We always have time to hear a person out. What's got you so flustered? Thank you. It's Leo. He's gone missing. He must be on searching for the Rainbow Blossom. Rainbow what now? It's... uh... Oh, I really thought it'd be enough to make him give this whole thing up. I never thought he'd actually go, and... That's your mistake right there. He's the type who only gets more fired up by obstacles. You could have told me that sooner. I'm not really an expert, but is love really a thing that needs to be proven? I just don't understand how someone can believe in something so blindly. All this talk of love and destiny he spouts. He may be impulsive and hot-headed, but he's not a liar. Just an idiot, like he clearly demonstrated back there. That's not what I mean. You don't trust him, and you're afraid to open up to him because you're not sure. Is that so wrong? I didn't say that. I just thought that maybe your real reason lay elsewhere. Anyway, this rainbow blossom, are you sure it's really extinct? I couldn't say for sure, but I've heard that here in Torna it may have survived in a secret area somewhere. You used to see it all over before, but then with overexploitation and changes in the climate its numbers dwindled. Is that so? Then I imagine he would also try to seek out this secret area you speak of. He fancies himself an adventurer, does he now? I'm sorry you had to get involved in our stupid business. You know I didn't mean for anything bad to happen, I just... It's okay, we understand. For starters, we'll go search for clues. There's absolutely no need for you to blame yourself. I said I'd do it, so consider it done. Okay, we already have something. But a secret area? You all. I feel ready for the road ahead. A secret area here in Torna? I can um, think of a place where that might be. But before we do that, let's go see to this first side quest that Carnelian back there gave us. These are big footprints. And those are huge. Come on, there we go. Slow and steady. Laser focus. Tracks. Where could they lead? Forgot that I need to be jumping. This is becoming a something of an expert. Still need to 
grind out uh, Mithra's ability. Here. Our mystery opponent must have scaled the cliff or perhaps soared up and over. Are we talking about the same beast, Prince, our stompy trampley friend? Now it has wings, is that it? That would be a curious and fascinating development, no? Um, it cannot have simply vanished, can it? Don't be stupid, it's a dumb animal running around in circles. Oh yes, of course, how silly of me. It's not like ghosts actually exist. Oh my, Hayes, are you afraid of ghosts? Nonsense, I'm just concerned about the possibility. I see. Well then, I should probably not mention that. Huh? W what do you mean by that? Oh, don't you feel its presence? Even though it's right behind you? Eek! Bridget, stop. Don't you think that was somewhat mean, Bridget? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't think she would actually fall for it. Lady Laura, please. There are no ghosts, right? Ghosts don't exist, do they? You'll have to excuse Hayes. This is her one and only weakness. It's alright, Hayes. If we ever do see a ghost, which we won't, I promise I'll chase it away for you. Good? Now, now, Bridget. You need to be pouting like a child's chided school child. You've shown us a side of you we don't often get to see. That alone is worth noting. Thank you, Majesty. Come on, all of you. All this fawning is making me itchy. Fine, fine. It seems the trail has gone cold. Let's go back and report on our, on our investigation so far. Okay. Aren't we in trying something of an expert? Okay then. Those were big footprints. Like maybe a gogol or something. Thanks for all your efforts. Well, have you found anything? We found some tracks, but we hit a dead end while following them. Is there any chance that what you saw wasn't human but a monster? Huh? Wait, over there, who's that? No, I will not fall for the same trick twice. There's no such thing as ghosts. Hayes, look out! Uh. Gogols? Oh boy, this is bad. Carnelian, go get reinforcements. But what about you? We'll be fine. If there's one thing we're good at, it's stuff like this. Then it seems we're more alike than I thought. Please hold the spot for me a while, and no dying on the job, you hear? Um, defeat the attacking goggles on Planus Bridge in Torna. Okay. All right, follow my lead. Our bond Suppose makes I'd my power my boundless. Time for one last push. What a Which one? Got it. Chill stroke. 
Gave me a fright. What was that just now? Say, this wasn't the first time we were neck deep in goggles, right? Is that coincidence? I don't think so. I don't think I'm ready to joke about it yet, personally. But they may have been relatives of the goggles we fought earlier. They're definitely driven. Yeah, it's hard to think they were actually storming the city. I think your theory is the more valid one. Whoa. Hmm. Looks like we got some fans when we weren't looking. Sorry you had to wait. Is everyone okay? Hale and hearty, as you can see. Ah, ha, ha, ha. So we didn't have to rush after all. Still, that was a job well done. Carnelian did good bringing us here. Say, I don't suppose you feel like joining my little team. We can always use more skilled fighters. I'm honored by the invitation. Really, I am. But what would happen to this guard post then? Ah, ha, ha, ha. All right, you got a point. Hmm. How about we put Chasedny back on guard duty and have Carnelian join the main team? Hold on a moment. Why can't they both serve together? Didn't you say you wanted more skilled fighters? Well, see, guarding the gates to the capital is the foundation of our duties. It's not like just anyone could do it. I think for sure that one of the siblings needs to stay here. In that case, it's simple. I'll be fine here, so my kid brother can... You know, I hate it when you do that. Stop acting all goody-goody, bro. Chelsea, what are you talking about? You think you always have to take the back seat, right? Just because you're older, you have to be all nice to me. Well, phooey ought to that. It only makes you feel good, and I'm sick of it. I'm sorry to butt in here, but there's one thing I have to say. Do you really want to bicker like this? If the fighting breaks out tomorrow, you might never see each other again. If you don't end tonight on a good note, you could regret it for the rest of your lives. Hmm... She's right. There's no guarantee that peace will return anytime soon. I didn't quite realize that before. I'm really sorry. Me too. I said a bit too much. Sarge, I got a request. Could I please get a demotion? I want to cool my head, take a tour at the gates again, see if I can do better this time around. Oh, that's sudden. You sure, son? Yes, sir. There might be another attack like we had today. If my bro is here all alone, I'll be worried. Ah, you're not just saying that, are you? I told you to cut it out, didn't I? Just treat me like a regular squad mate, standing duty together, alright? We'll share the burden and work arm in arm like brothers should. I'm... I'm sorry, I don't think I understood until now how I made you feel. That's because you're dumb, bro. Go on, just say thank you and let's be done with it. <laughs> I love a happy ending. Oh, get a grip. I feel like you. I feel like the next time the Goggles come, you guys will be ready for them. Oh, anything with those. Gwahahaha. <laughs> well, anyway, you cut it. At least we'll feel safe with such expert gate guards keeping watch. Uh, looks like I'll have to start recruiting squad members from scratch. Okay, so we got those two. Thanks for that. 
Oh, this that's the uh, actual captain. Or the squad leader, rather. Wah-ha-ha! Ha. I say it reflects well on the Tornan army that we had such great gatekeepers working for us. We need to keep it up and keep recruiting the best. You have our gratitude. Thanks for helping me understand Chalcedony's true feelings. We'll continue to guard the peace as brothers. No, as comrades. Okay, there's a few people with yellow faces next to them who I could go talk to. Dolala in the Speffin Inn. And now Saz over in the storage ward. And Clemens at the palace. Hubby takes a high. Okay, that's the fishmonger. Okay, that wasn't How about too big a deal. Time you help yourselves? The uninvited visitors turn out to be Gogols. With the attack repelled, Carnelian and Chalcedony are once again guarding the gate as brothers. Okay. So we're not pawn over at the inn. Uh. Okay, where is He's this really guy? Moorish. Oh, here we are. Big Dreamer Dolala. Hello, drivers. Hello, all. Dolala have request. Maybe, if possible, will you be friends with Dolala? Dolala is number one fan. Friends not only first class drivers, but have big time night Lady Laura in party. So, want to talk lots with you. Get to know each other well. Meh. You will. Wow. Dolala, so very, very happy. Dolala will definitely become kind and gentle driver like you. Thank you. Well, good luck to you. Nopon drivers are pretty rare. Thanks for that. Cannot express with mouth words how happy Dolala to be friends with friends. Dolala will aim higher than ever before to become great driver. Okay. Then uh, Clemens in the palace and Nalsaz over in the storage ward. Okay, there's hmm, another side quest. Well, let's talk to her on our way back out. There he is. Lady Lore, congratulations. I was pretty far back in the crowd while you were being knighted, but I still saw the ceremony. There hasn't been a driver who could control the Paragon of Torna for a long time now. We're so lucky to have you, Lady Laura, and you too, Jen. I'm working as hard as I can to help you defeat the Aegis. Let me know if there's ever anything I can do. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> Lady Adam, Lady... Lord Adam, uh, Lady Laura... The fate of Torna is in your hands. With the Aegis and the Paragon of Torna on your side, there's nothing to fear, right? Yeah, sure. Let's go with that. Ugh. And this is rough. Loyal subject, Niddle. Ah, Prince Adam. Long have I longed for the chance to speak to you properly. I'm really sorry, but we're actually pretty busy, so... No, wait, please wait. That's a bit rude, isn't it? I mean, I'm constantly going out of my mind with worry about you, Prince, and now this? It's... it's... it's heartless is what it is, and after I've pledged the eternity of my heart and soul to you and Torna. That's... 
That seemed like something Adam was just kidding about. And another thing, I've been at your side since your royal childhood, and you've always been so sawiche. Cut to the chase already! Ahaha. Uh, right, yes, fine. Say what you wanted to say then. Huh? Ah, right, indeed. The earlier attack has caused a lot of damage to the capital, and the rubble is still being removed. In particular, the residential and shopping wards are taking time to clear, but we're short-handed, so I... All right, I see the problem here. How about we help out then? Egad, would you really? You said you need hands, right? Well, the prince and the rest of us have some perfectly good ones right here. She's right. I would like to do my part also. I thank you, kind sir. Huh? You, aren't you the Ardenian... Shh! Let's not tell the whole country about it, shall we? With as many helpers, we should be done in no time. Quite. Let's clean up the wreckage from the residential and shopping wards, and let's be quick about it. Oh my, oh my, oh my! I'd like you to trust us with this. Sure, let's set this one as active. Okay, let's see. So an old lady over here had some... had a quest. And now, back to your regularly scheduled daytime. Shall we keep moving? Regular What do you think this is? The TV era? Wait until technology's advanced a bit further. Okay, Arb, what is it? Hello, young lady. The name's Arb. And I'm a shipwright by trade, though currently in the midst of moving. Sorry to accost you, but do you know much about ships? My apprentice could use a hand with one he's making now. A ship, you say? I have to say I haven't a clue, but we'd love to help if we could. Ha <laughs> ha! You are as much a lifesaver as people say, then. But tell me, what do you expect from the future? Huh? I, uh, I haven't really given it much thought. Why do you ask? Because a person's destiny can change depending on what they choose to fixate on, what they choose to value. Uh, I'm not really sure where you're going with this. You're suggesting that our compulsions may do more to, than bring us happiness or prosperity? If one were to be fixated on a remote past which cannot be changed, what a sad life they would lead. Their sadness would only beget further sadness. Ho ho ho, what a curious mind you have, sir. Where's this from all of a sudden? I thought your head was full of Hugo, Hugo, Hugo. Hmm, his majesty is everything to me, but that's subtly different from a compulsion. That's right, I'd call it a devotion if I had to call it anything. I'd call it overbearing, but to each their own. Friends, we are getting sidetracked. Yes, well, in any case, I'm very curious to see what fate has in store for you, young lady. As for my apprentice, Akun, he just returned to the residential district. Do pay him a visit if you're so inclined. But in the midst of that, you mustn't forget whom you're helping, for what cause, and where it may lead you. I would be no leader if I turned down an opportunity like this. Okay, we're certainly getting lots of quests. I'm sure I can take care of some of it while I'm going around looking for the rubble. Okay, Woman of Leisure Ofo. What did you need, madam? Hello, sweetlings. What can I do for you? I warn you now, I'm not exactly the most able-bodied person here. I am Ofa. I run the accessory shop back in for my shopping ward, though you might not know it. Ever since I put my granddaughter in charge of the stall, I've become quite partial to my daily walks. The Outrider's Forest Trail in particular is a lovely walk. There are moments when the sunlight dapples through the trees and I think to myself, Pah, who needs Elysium? Oh, it was idyllic. At least up until recently. These days the forest is so littered with junk that you can, can't really appreciate its beauty anymore. At first I tried to clean it up myself, so I did. But try as I might, the litter would not go away, piling up faster than I could get rid of it. At this rate I thought to myself, I'll have to abandon my lovely walk and find somewhere else. Would you be a dear and help me clean the place up? You're sure to do a better job than I. We can take care of it if you want. Okay. We got a lot of cleanup jobs here. Uh, look at this, a pile of rubble. Witness my irresistible force. Laser focus. Many hands make light work, right? Okay. 
Now there was someone else. Uh, that must be him. Knights! Loyal knights! Knights! Beloved disciples! Well, 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 you finally earned the right to stand shoulder to shoulder with me. I will now give special permission for you to henceforth address me as Beloved Companion. So don't hold back, just call me Beloved Companion in Elsa's whenever you like, okay? Okay! Huh? You just want to be normal friends? Oh, well, okay. I think we can agree on that. Friends! Ha! Friends! That has a nice ring to it. I think I can get used to this, friends! Well, he's sure enthusiastic. Well done, us. So, you're a knight of Torna now, but our friendship is so deeply rooted that must make me a knight too. No? Oh, come on, you can let a man dream. I do not remember him at all. Sorry, but uh, I don't remember you, Nelsas. Okay, remove rubble. Witness my irresistible force. Laser focus. Okay. While we're here, let's talk to Momimi over here. Oh, who will buy fine vase? Very lovely ceramic thing. Hmm. Meh, no one will buy vase of Momimi. Uh, Momimi cannot sell vase, this is sad. Meh, meh, perhaps friends can stop for a moment and lend ear to terrible problem with Momimi. Uh, is your problem that you can't sell your vase? Maybe surprising to friends, but Momimi actually merchant of Pyrithium Trade Guild. Momimi get big time request to borrow a million G of money from Momimi. Big opportunity for profit. Money of pocket of Momimi only 900,000 G right now. Difficult position. How can you fit that much in your pockets? I mean, even if it were paper money, that would be a lot. Even though Momimi is up-and-coming merchant with big hunger for success, still a bit of scatterbrain. So Momimi exactly 100,000 G short, trying with skills and resources as merchant to raise shortfall now. Momimi lugs ceramic ware all the way from Guild and shout in big voice to draw customers, but results are sad. Vase of Momimi not bought by torn and people. Meh. This big surprise because Vase increased popularity and luck 100,000 times from day of purchase. Meh. You think customers scared of such mysterious Vase, afraid of Vase's mystical forces? Momimi not care. Just need somehow to get 100,000 G or be gobbled up bitey smitey. Meh. Momimi just find idea in head. If friends have nice expensive items that, Mom that people like to buy, friends can let Momimi have items. Genius! With good ceramics, Momimi can use excellence in selling to sell lots. Behold, unique of brilliance of unique plan of Momimi. Meh meh, but meh. Sell one at time take too much time. Time is short supplied. If only vases were made of time. Meh. Head of Momimi yet again produces great idea. Use this. Ta-da! Brand new Nopto currency of Momimi. Momimi money. Okay, this is just getting weird. How long is this Nopon going to go on? Meh, it's almost like toy money. Um, no, Momimi money, sure to catch on. And to save on O's and I's can also call mmm, like yummy treat. According to Reckoning of Momimi, would like to start set starting value of one mmm at 200 G. That means once friends bring in 100,000 real money value, which equal 500 mmm, can sell off in bulk. Not to worry, Momimi famous even in guild for uncanny knack evaluation. Is all understood? Yes? No. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Wishing friends to be bringer of good fortune. Don't you worry. I've got this. Okay. So if we talk to Momimi, what now? Did friends find nice products? Hmm. So I just have to give her this stuff?
Okay, this is getting kind of irritating. Manifold happies that make 500 mmm already. At current rate of mmm to G, that 100,000 G exactly. Now Momimi has million G in total. Well, Momimi will surely sell goods in double quick time and get lots of G. Then we'll go then to Biggie Pond. Meh, who is Biggie Pond? Why, Biggie Pond is person to borrow 1 million G from Momimi. This particular Biggie Pond gives lots of gifts to certain Girly Pond. Making gifts of million G today. Very excited. Really likes Girly Pond. Well, thanks to friends, you were a big help of Momimi. Hope you will be a big friend of Pyrithium Trade Guild too. That was really strange. With help of friends, Momimi able to lend promised money to Biggie Pond. Joy! Future looking bright for hmm, eh? Is maybe time for Momimi to go live. That was just weird. Great. Another problem solved. When we left to lend a million G to a large bodied individual, said individuals allegedly donating the money to a very special lady. recipe for Hugo. I should probably go check out a campfire at some point and try some more crafting. Witness my irresistible force. Laser focus. Every time I see Mithra there, I remember that I need to be jumping to grind out that field skill of hers. This is handy. Okay, was he talking about <laughs> Mithra's sudden skill update or the uh, pouch item refill? I can't focus only on attacking. Oh, well, now you can focus on lighting stuff up. My irresistible force. Laser focus. Okay, just gotta keep clearing this crud out of the way. Apprentice gra Glassmaker Charlotte. Charlotte? Oh, either way. Excuse me, have any of you had occasion to visit Torgoth recently? Mm, it's been a little while, but we've been there. It's just that my instructor left for Torgoth, and I haven't heard back from him since. Oh dear, how long has it been since he left? Weeks now. He told me it was becoming more and more likely that Torna would come under attack. He said he wanted to visit his hometown before the Aegis came and destroyed us all. Could you tell us his name? Yes, of course, it's Tyrus. He's in his forties, and he's a bit of a cautious character. He likes his daily walks in the countryside. Oh, and he's got a real passion for glasswork. I can tell he's very important to you. We'll start searching for him right away, don't you worry. You... you will? Absolutely. I know what it's like to have someone you care about on your mind. We'll get Tyrus back safe and sound, I promise. 
Oh, thank you. I'm so sorry to trouble you. I can be such a warrior. <sighs> Laura, you should have promised that we'd go looking for him. Getting him back safe and sound when you know what's happened to Torgoth? Anyway, I've been told he lives at the far end of Torgoth. If you find him, could you tell him his student Charlotte's worried about him? Was it wise to tell her that, Laura? You know Torgoth's been... You know. I'm going to make a thorough search and then tell her what we know. Whatever the truth may be. Well... I'm certain it'll be worth it in the long run. That would have been... a worthwhile thing to promise. Okay, we're going the wrong way. The rubble's over here. There we go. Witness my irresistible force. Okay. Looks like there is one more, but let's talk to Harried Shipwright Akin first. Hmm? Who are you? I don't have any appointments today. Please do excuse us for interrupting you unannounced. The thing is, we heard you were making a ship, and... Yes, I'm right in the middle of doing some review work. No sleep, no rest. For all rest, for its people, for Torna. As you can see, I've not got enough people or materials, so it's all down to me working triple time. Uh, so, what was I supposed to be doing just now? Are you quite alright? He must be going mad from sleep deprivation. Here, why don't we help? Are you serious? That'd be brilliant. In that case, could you give me a pane of glass and ten lengths of lumber and find us a skipper? That'd probably do. Oh, Titan's foot! I completely forgot about the paint delivery! Wait! Wait up! Wait up! Hold on! We'll need more to go on! Gone without a trace. Interesting lad, isn't he? Wears his heart on his sleeve and acts as quick as he thinks. Sure, he's a real peach. But you do realize that we've got no idea about what he actually needs from us, right? Might it be an idea to visit Mr. Arb and hear some details from him? It would be a shame to waste precious time seeking a helmsman with no concrete clues to go on. You spoke well, Aegean. At times like these, it's good to rely on the expertise of others. Having the master cover for the incompetence of his apprentice? Makes sense. Let's do it. You've got a real talent for wording things in the exact worst way possible, you know that? I just wonder why he's building that ship in such a hurry in the first place. Right. One more thing of rubble to clear out. Witness my irresistible force. Laser focus. Okay. I'll That's help done. myself to another. <laughs> the way he said that right when the notice came up to go talk to Niddle. <laughs> Okay, we'll talk to Niddle, go over there and talk to Arb. Take care of two things at once. Oh ho, the wreckage is all cleared out then. Thank you very much. With that done, we need only fix the, up the gardens and the capital will be back to its old glory. The tools and workers I have already assembled. So could you please give our head gardener the go-ahead? He's a man called Bry. He should be waiting in the gardens. Okay. He'll be over there somewhere, but let's talk to Arb first. Oh, ho, ho. So you've come back. Akin has always been that way. Allow me to fill you in on the glass and wood. From the lumber, what we need is durability. Ten muscle branches from Gormot should do nicely for a start. Next, the glass panes. Ah, but the usual ones won't cut it, I'm afraid. We'll need some good reinforced glass for this. Unfortunately, we can't just pick those up around here. We'll need the help of a professional in this matter. As for the skipper, I've got an idea. A woman by the name of Makila who lives in Gormont. Mention my name and she should hear you out. Well, does that all make sense? Hope it's not too much to ask. Okay then. 
Muscle branches from Gormot, glass from the glassmaker, who we are currently on a quest on another quest for, and then talk to Makila over in Gormot. Loyalist Gardener Bry. Excuse me, are you Bry? Niddles asked us to come tell you to start repairs on the garden. Sorry, we're closed for business. Go away. Has something happened? Yes, yes it has. And it's all because of my knucklehead son. He's meant to be bringing me sand, not loafing around somewhere. Sand? So you sent your son to fetch sand, is that right? Exactly, from the Harad Hills. I've told him to be careful, and plenty of times too. I wonder what that oaf is doing. It certainly sounds like he may have encountered trouble. We could look for him if you'd let us. Do you have any idea where your son might be? If I did, I wouldn't be having such a hard time. But there is a wooded area on the far side of the hills. Maybe he just got lost in there by mistake? If you happen to find him, could you drag him back here? We need that sand to get on with the work. So he's probably in the woodlands. Okay. Let's see. As for the ship... Okay, so we need two more muscle branches, darn it. Hmm. We have to go to Gormot to talk to that uh, Makila person. And we have to go to Gormot to find that glassmaker person. And now we need muscle branches too. All right, well then. Let's go to the Lasaria Woodlands real quick. No, not Aletta. Uh, Lasaria. Oh, look, the uh, quest marker is right there. <laughs> Let us keep our wits about us. We can't dally all day. Hey! Hmm? Is that Kaim? Ah! Boy, that startled me. Laura, look out! Thanks, Jin. I'm good. But we have to save that man. Oh, I think we've been spotted. Oh, oh, what a move! Oh, the storm! Ah. I, I feel oh, bad. Now then, came or Kaim, or... I'm not sure how to pronounce his name. Ah, sorry about that. I was trying to warn you not to come any closer. I guess I need to get better at warnings, huh? Sorry you got attacked. Anyway, it's been a while. Didn't think I'd have to be saved by you guys again, but here we are. You recognize me, right? It's Kaim. Remember, you helped me with the monster slash bridge situation. I had a feeling we'd bump into each other again. Ha ha ha, what a coincidence, eh? Oh, crud, I gotta hurry, otherwise my old man will lay into me again. Sorry, I have to dash. Thanks for saving my skin. I'll see you back in the capital. Okay, that's been done. And as long Aren't as we're we here... Nature makes a fine ally. Alright. So... Now... Gotta take a trip to Gormont. Let's start at Lashen Cove. That's where we'll find Makila, if I remember correctly. And also, there's a treasure chest on the Titan battleship here that we should it finally be so able different. to open. All right, remind me why we're here again. This is becoming a nature makes a fine ally. Creeping Star Pepper. 
Found one at least. Those have been really difficult to find. Okay. Treasure trove. The suspense is There's a clear me. structure to this lock. Slow and steady. Finally got that done. Sure, there's stuff in here that I missed before, but I don't remember where. Aha! You're coming with me, treasure. How did I not find that before? It wasn't locked. Um, okay, so just gotta jump. <laughs> Straight Lace Diplomat Vint Horison. My lords and ladies, I'm sorry to trouble you, but I was wondering if you could help me with something. What with your majesty and Prince Adam out on campaign, it has been decided that I will confer with a special envoy from Gormok. Given that our Ardanian Titan has been showing signs of decline, it's important that we act now. I plan to air my opinion on the future of both our countries. Our conference was to be aboard this flagship, and the envoy was to come from the White Chair in Gormok, but he has not arrived. To get here from the White Chair, it's necessary to pass with the Hoary Wild. A dangerous place. We assume something happened to the Envoy there. However, we do not have the military resources to mount a full search of the Hoary Wild. Therefore, I thought I might burden you with this request. Please go to the Hoary Wild and search for the Gormati Special Envoy. Sorry for this sudden request, but I would not trouble you if I had any other option. Sweetest tidings. I'm certain it'll be worth it in the long run. Okay. Anything else to find around here? Okay, I remember. This is where I had a chat with Adam way back a long time ago. Nothing there to find right now. This is not a door, it's a wall that's uh, disguised as a door. And what's down here? There's a treasure trove. Is this one that I could have opened forever ago? Looks like it, yeah. The suspense is killing me. Oh man, that's a piddling amount of treasure by my current standards. How about down here? Nope, just dead end, okay. Alright, those were two treasure chests I could have gotten quite a while ago. <laughs> Could have finished up Bridget's lockpicking skill sooner if I'd found those before. Okay, yes, that's Makila. I thought it was. Titan ship helmswoman Makila. Are you looking for a skipper? And you're serious about it? Oh, but my services don't come cheap, darlings. Let's see now. My rates are, hmm, how's 200,000 G sound? Well, Arb said that you might help out. Oh, you're friends with the old fart? Well, why didn't you say so sooner, darlings? If you need a skipper, I'll be there. I can't very well refuse if he's asking. I'm sure you've, he's got reasons to, and so on. What, money? Nah, forget about it. I'm not so far gone that I can't do a friend a favor. So where do I go? Yanchik Harbor? Yep, got it. By the by, do you need me to go in all sneaky-like? Is someone after you? Oh, you're not really involved? Cool, no precautions necessary, then. Huh? Oh, don't mind me, darlings. Let's just meet in Yanshi Harbor. Toodle pip and all that. All right, got that. Now then, let's just, even though I'm right there, skip travel to Lasham Cove. 
Even on familiar ground, we must stay vigilant. Okay. I'll go get that uh, gather point in the next episode because we've reached the end of this one. Viewers, thank you very much for watching Let's Play Torn of the Golden Country. We accomplished a fair amount in this episode. Got uh, a few side quests finished and started tons of them. Got a fair amount along in some of them too. So, in the next episode, we will carry on with the side quest because we've hit the wall and we need to get lots more people in the community before we can continue with the main quest. So, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.